I turned this on and off a couple times, so I'm sure. That. So it's my pleasure today. Hi, I'm Emily Geiger. I am uh, the current uh, head of the Big Co Innovation Team at Centrifuge. Um, gracious partners of the uh, Uptech community here because you guys help our mission and um, hopefully we help yours. Uh, it's awesome to be here with the uh, folks in the front of the room, mainly because I've seen three of you in the last two weeks in different ways, the True Circle team, the Organolytics team, and that we've today as a part of an event. And so I love the, the diversity and the color and the engagement that we're seeing here today. So. Um, my job is to introduce Shweta, and that's hard to do other than acknowledging that she is so passionate that she's brought her two daughters who are, are up there listening to us today, and while they're adding their own commentary, I just hope you guys know how awesome your mama is, and that she's uh, making a, making, pa paving the path forward for you too. Um, so pay attention. Everybody's got important things to say here. Um, Beyond Shweta's passion, I think she brings a really nice depth of experience to her product, um, from investment banking to big transitions with big corporates. Um, she's got the been there, done that benefit that's really important when she's, you're selling a B2B software into enterprise clients. Um, I got to know that because uh, Shweta learned that we were doing a human capital or a uh, uh, team building exercise for agile and high performance teams for some of our corporates and she volunteered to contribute to the cause. Um, she ended up teaching the, uh, the workshop because she had so much passion for the diversity and inclusion um, component of that, that workshop. And what I can tell you is that after her presentation, the uh, big companies in the room swarmed to her as a as an expert, and that was inspiring to me because she had she had the energy, but she also had the depth and the uh, the subject matter expertise. So, what what I think is especially unique about what Shweta brings to the table today is um, just a little anecdote from what I heard today from a former HR tech leader, and that was um, we had a. a a group of people that got together and talked about human capital and where it's going and the challenges. And what we heard in a, a, special, a special tidbit that I heard today was um, human capital is kind of a fuzzy topic, but anybody that can bring me as an HR technical leader a, a undeniable data-driven approach to this, like the rest of you guys on the, in this cohort, um, cuts ahead of the, the line. And I think Swetha's uh, pre presentation today will help us get there. And I'm excited to hear where you've come and where you've gone with uh, the team's support, team Uptech support today. So without further ado, let's hear about where you've come. Thanks, Emily. Hi, everyone. I'm Shweta Pai, CEO of Organalytics. Really excited to be here. So let me just get started with a quote. What can't be seen can't be fixed, and what is once seen can't be denied. That's the basic tenet behind Organalytics, where we bring visibility into those unseen team dynamics that could potentially derail team performance. Our now, when we talk about team performance, it can be a really broad topic. But the biggest problem area that companies face today is around inclusion, because diversity and inclusion has, has been increasingly a priority for a lot of companies, and diverse teams are quickly becoming the norm. With, and this is with good reason. Di diverse teams have been proven to be much more creative, innovative and productive than non-diverse teams. So companies spend $8 billion on diversity programs. And they build these uh, teams, and they're uh, pretty good about uh, building these diversity, uh, diverse teams. But this chase, of di in, uh, chase towards diversity means that they are not really getting the full benefits of diversity, mainly because 
those diverse population, the diverse employees, tend to leave at a much faster clip. And this revolving door of, uh, of diverse employees results in that $8 billion investment in diversity becoming a $64 billion attrition cost. And that cost is because of wasted recruitment dollars, wasted um, training, onboarding, as well as inefficiencies, and not to mention the knowledge that just keeps walking out of the door. Now, some companies do invest in inclusion programs or engagement programs, but this tends to be an afterthought. So, and so they're fairly generic and they're unfocused. So these are things like Thirsty Thursdays or uh, coffee, free coffee for all. But these fail. Why? Because we don't stay in teams because of Thirsty Thursdays, right? Why do we stay in teams? We stay because we're part of an amazing team where we're learning a lot, knowledge is shared, our ideas are welcomed, and we're, we're supported by amazing mentors. That's why we stay, because we're included in those areas that matter, how the team actually operates. But managers today don't have any way to look and measure those operational areas of inclusion. That's where org analytics comes in. We help managers halt that revol revolving door by providing them visibility and insight into those operational areas of inclusion. And our solution is a slam dunk because a diverse employee that walks out of the door costs $250,000 to backfill. So just saving one employee and making them stay and keeping them uh, in the company results in savings. So how does our tool work? Really quickly, it's a simple three-step process. It's a web-based application that a manager can use to just engage with their team. They can do it through email, chat, Slack, and it's typically driven by questions that they ask their employees on how their team is actually uh, interact with each other. These responses then get uh, fed into our algorithms, which create these visualizations that give you those, uh, those uh, visibility. The, and then our machine learning models come in to identify quickly the problem areas. The managers can then take targeted actions that around those problem areas identified. This can be repeated quarterly so that managers can then make sure that uh, they, are, they can monitor the health of their teams and that the actions that they took actually have the impact that they intended. Let's take a really quick closer look at what this output looks like. Here's one of our uh, visualizations for knowledge sharing that we did for um, one of our early pilots, the manager sitting right there. Her team are those green dots. Each individual is a dot. The lines are the interactions that they have on knowledge sharing. Now, initially, before we did this, she thought that she had a great team that was sharing great knowledge with each other uh, completely appropriately. And for the most part, they were. But we quickly identified two key areas of problem, er of problem in, within their team, where she had individuals who weren't sharing any information and a small cluster that wasn't sharing information with anybody except for the four of them. This is just one of many interactive reports that we provide managers so that they can make data-driven decisions around their team. Let's quickly talk about our market. We look at two key trends when we consider our market. First, the candidate pool that companies are, uh, are pulling from continues to grow diverse. And secondly, labor productivity continues to decline as it has over the past decade. The, this means that diversity programs are becoming much more commonplace and they're becoming much more of a focal point for companies who are looking to drive productivity. So this creates a great opportunity for org analytics because we're the only tool out there that actually helps managers and companies measure the effectiveness of these programs. We have three paths to revenue, direct to client, 
um, white label offerings as well as API access. Our tool has been tried and tested through successful pilots where we've gotten great in, uh, customer feedback, where they've been amazed at the amount of uh, uh, insight that we can provide very, very quickly. And we also have great corporate partnerships. We have a great team in place as well. Uh, we are diverse ourselves. Um, Brian is an experienced entrepreneur who has had several exits under his belt. Um, Matt is a uh, machine learning and AI expert who is the uh, key behind our tool. And then I myself have been in the, uh, in the shoes of, our, of the clients because I've managed large global teams in the past. So in summary, Organalytics is a, uh, it has the right team, the right tool, and we are filling a need in a growing market. We are Organalytics, the future of inclusion.